Hi everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel Technex Solutions. In this video, we are going to look at how to install and un uninstall SCCM client manually. In the previous video, we have looked at how to install SCCM client through SCCM client push install. If you have not checked out that video, you can check it out. So link is in the description of this video. So you can have a look how we can actually client push install to our um, computer. So client was installed on PC-01 if I log on to SCCM server and in SCCM server it will show us that PC-01 has a client installed and client activity is active and uh, this is not turned green because I've just turned on SCCM server and if I go back to PC-01 I have logged into PC-01 where SCCM client is installed. Um, I logged in as administrator but you can use use a standard account as well but to uninstall or to install SCCM client you need admin account to provide all these privileges. So how we know that a client is installed if you actually open task manager in task manager if you click on details and you can see CCM exec uh, is running or if you open control panel and change the view by large icons you can see configuration manager here okay so these are the properties where you can actually check out so if I click on that you can see the general information so let's just close that apart from that if I click on um, start menu and I can actually see Microsoft System Center uh, here so if I open Software Center it will open Software Center for us and uh, at the top you can see it says Technex Solutions alright I'm going to close that and I'm going to show you how you can actually uninstall that installed client. So I will open File Explorer. In File Explorer, if you click on this PC, Local Disk C, and then Windows. So here in Windows, you will see a folder named CCM Setup. So that folder was actually uh, put here by SCCM Server when the SCCM client initially was pushed in in the last video okay so even in the future as well if SCCM server pushes out any update to the client installed on the PC it will put all the files in this folder here and then the running client will get all the updates if I open that and you will see a file here CCM setup file and all the logs will go here in the logs folder alright so CCM setup file is uh, here, which is a, an application. So if you click on File, Windows PowerShell, open Windows PowerShell as administrator, click on that. So we are going to run it as administrator and few changes you will see while this is running. Okay, and uh, here type CCM setup, so CCM setup XC and then forward slash uninstall. Okay ccm setup xc space forward slash uninstall and hit enter so ccm setup will start running let's check the task manager in details you see ccm setup is running here so i will give it about um, two to five minutes so it will take about that much time to uninstall so i will be back once this is done all right so sccm client is now uninstalled and uh, it took about two to three minutes so in task manager you will not see CCM exec or CCM setup uh, running okay so it's vanished so let's just minimize that and also you will see few files here in uh, CCM setup folder as well but logs file is folder is here so if you open logs folder and you will see a log called CCM setup if you open that log and you will get all the information alright so you can actually use CCM trace to actually read all these logs so CCM trace is saved on SCCM server if you browse to um, your SCCM server and uh, then in that you will see SMS underscore your site code my site code is TEK so I will double click on that and then it is in tools so tools folder and CCM trace is here so you can use this uh, tool to actually read all these logs and let's check uh, our control panel in control panel view large icons configuration manager you can still see it let's just click on that it won't open so Windows will realize that this program is not there 
and it is going to clear that as well. Also, let's click on um, Start menu and we'll go back to Microsoft System Center folder and we will try to open Surface Center and it will say that application is not there. Okay, so now SCCM client is uninstalled. So let's just minimize that. We'll go back to SCCM server. In SCCM server, you see PC-01 is still here. Let's just refresh that. Even server, um, SCCM server will take a while to realize that that PC-01 does not have a client. Okay, so what we will do, um, we will uh, force SCCM server to realize that PC-01 does not have any client. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete PC-01 from SCCM server database. It will not delete PC-01 from Active Directory or anywhere else. It's just going to delete PC-01 from SCCM server database. So right click and delete. So I will click delete. It will be gone from here. Let's just refresh it. And you cannot see PC-01. So now I'm going to force SCCM server to detect PC-01 as a computer on the um, Active Directory. So to do that, on the left hand side on the bottom, click on Administration. And in Administration, click on Hierarchy Configuration and Discovery Methods. So we are going to use one of the discovery methods to find PC-01. So that would be Active Directory System Discovery. Okay, so click on that, right click, run full discovery now. Click yes. And it will take a um, few minutes to realize that PC-01 is there. Depends on the size of your infrastructure and um, also depends on the hardware you're using. All right, so it took about one to two minutes to realize that PC-01 is a computer and now you can see PC-01 does not have any client installed because we have uninstalled that client. All right, so now we are going to have a look at how to install SCCM client manually. You can use PowerShell or you can use CCM setup file to actually install the client. So I would use PowerShell and I will show you how to install SCCM client manually with the help of PowerShell script. So I have got PowerShell script here. I downloaded that script from uh, Microsoft website. And uh, if you right click and edit, you can see that script here. So I have made few changes. So you have to make these changes according to your infrastructure. And um, new item so what it does is it will create a new item uh, in C backward slash client so if you have a look at local disk C at the moment you do not see any folder named client here so it will create a new folder here and it, it will name that folder client and then it will copy item it is going to copy um, client files so this is a path from where it is going to copy items to that folder. So that uh, you have to change here. Instead of technex-st01, you have to type in your SCCM server address and whatever that address is. So um, you have to use administrator account or any account which have access to read these files from SCCM server and uh, it has ability to run that program on your computer. Okay, and destination is uh, C backward slash client you can see here, which is that uh, folder it is has created initially. All right, so after that, it will browse to that folder and then it will run CCM setup exe from that folder. Um, so changes that you have to make uh, will be a management point. So here you have to type in uh, fully qualified domain name. So my manage point, point is my SCCM server. So if you've been following my videos, so your management point will be your SCCM server address as well. That has to be fully qualified domain name. All right. Then after that, SMS site code. So in my case, site code is TEK. So type in your site code, uh, whatever your site code is in your infrastructure. Also, I will show you if I open command prompt and I will browse to technex-su1 which is my SCCM server. So you have to type in backward slash backward slash and then uh, your SCCM server address. 
hit enter and uh, SCCM uh, server has SMS underscore TEK which is SMS underscore your site code double click that and clients so this is the path make sure your account has access to this path okay I have logged in as an administrator on PC-01 this is why I have access to that so you can see that I can browse to these files alright so let's just close that and uh, make sure you click on file and save your um, PowerShell script so once this is done I am going to close it I have already saved this file and uh, open PowerShell as an administrator and in PowerShell as well you have to set execution policy um, unrestricted so that you can run PowerShell scripts so it is set dash execution policy space unrestricted hit enter and yes alright so once this is done um, you can close that and I will um, right click on that script and I will run with PowerShell okay so as you can see as soon as I ran the script uh, it had created a new folder named client if I open that folder it has copied over all these files and also if I open task manager I will see CCM setup exe is running alright so I will give it a few minutes it will take uh, two to three minutes to install SCCM client again it depends on your infrastructure and um, I will be back once this is done alright so it took about two to three minutes so CCM um, exec is running in task manager you can see that and uh, if I minimize that and I will browse to uh, Windows uh, local disk C and then I'll go to Windows and in Windows I will see CCM setup if I open that you will see all these different files here as well and in logs so it will have CCM setup logs if I open the log file with CCM trace and you can see it is installed and if there are any errors so you must check that log file so let's just close that log file and I will open control panel in control panel uh, view by large icons and then you will see configuration manager uh, if you click on that it will open configuration manager properties you can see that uh, assign management point which we have uh, mentioned in our PowerShell script which is technex-su1 and site code is TEK alright so I will go on actions and I'm going to run machine policy retrieval run now and user policy retrieval okay if I go to start menu and Microsoft System Center so it will open software center as you can see the software center looks slightly different and after two three minutes or whenever it will receive the machine policy it will look different for example on the top left hand side you can see technic solutions as well and also if I open configuration manager properties again and you will see in actions uh, we have more actions available alright let's just uh, cancel that and let's go back to our SCCM server and F SCCM server should show PC-01 has a client let's just refresh that here you can see PC-01 has a client yes site code TEK client activity it hasn't recorded yet so it will take few minutes and then it will show this client is active alright so that's all for this video uh, give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it is informative for you and um, you can check other videos of this video series in the given link in the description. See you in the next video.